Hi there folks, Borislav247 here with another Days Gone Horde series video where I focus my attentions on one specific horde. And on this video folks, it is the Metolius Lava Cave Horde that is under the spotlight. Right and folks, this is one of the big hordes. It is 150 strong. It's basically the second largest in the Lost Lake region behind the Sawmill Horde. You can find this horde in the far north of the Lost Lake region and this horde is unlocked as soon as you've completed a mission with Iron Mike where you actually see this horde for the first time. Now, that is their daytime location and they are in the caves, obviously, given the name of the horde and their areas that they go to at night for drinking and for feeding are both very close to each other so Finding this horde is a very easy affair indeed at night time. Now, a few easy kill locations for this one folks, but honestly, after seeing the first method, will you use any of the others? Okay, on to the first easy kill location. This takes place during the daytime and it takes place very close to where they reside. Now, <laughs> People in the Days Gone community who are in the know will be no stranger to this, but for everyone else, just watch and learn. The horde is down there, but I have the torch on. Look at this area here. I am basically going to go down there, attract the horde's attention, just bring them back up here. I will basically go through that uh, tight, narrow space, and from there, I am pretty much untouchable. The only chance you really have of any of the horde actually getting to you is when you shoot one of them and they maybe come flying through. That's about it folks, that's about as dangerous as it gets. So I have the horde heading towards my direction and here we go, I am just going to go to town. They cannot get past this area folks, it's simple as. If you have survival vision, use it, it will, uh, <laughs> it makes for a uh, an interesting picture. Uh, you can see just how uh, high they start to pile up when they do the World War Z thing and you will see it on a bigger scale now because you are dealing with higher numbers. But uh, it doesn't detract from the fact that this world is going to be destroyed fucking damn quickly. And there you go, there's, there's one uh, Freaker that's actually managed to get through. But it was dead when it hit the ground anyways. <laughs> So yeah, um, <laughs> you could argue that I could just have uh, started this video off with this and then just ended it after this particular uh, method was shown because will you ever use another one? I'm not sure. But there are some very nice methods in order to take out uh, this horde. This one is by far the least problematic and uh, probably the quickest too. But uh, on to the next method, folks. Right then folks, for any of you who are actually left and are still watching this video after seeing the last method but actually want to see some more, then here we go. This is on to the easy kill location number two and this is a two-parter. Now, it takes place at night. I'm looking to basically attract the horde from the their watering uh, area that they go to drink because it is the closest area that they are to where I'm going to take them. And uh, basically... There is one or two things that I need to specify about doing uh, this method um, in taking out this horde because basically the problems come from this horde with it being such large numbers. I call it a two-parter because there is actually two areas that I'm going to take them to and they're very close to each other and they both have the same uh, protection to them. You'll see what I mean when I start. The first one is this. now. This one is the easier of the two because you can just simply climb up to this location. And from here, I'm looking to take out some of the numbers en route, but this is important. When they get to the top section here, make sure you're using the SMP9 or another very fast firing weapon. You need to get the numbers down quickly here. Because if you don't, you will get overrun at this location. I'm looking to take out ideally about half of the numbers. So I'm off the first section folks and I'm now heading to the second section and this is very important. It's basically about the setup here. When you head to this wooden area, as soon as you press the button to jump, immediately press down on the joy uh, stick to ensure that you actually stay on that ledge. If you don't, 
you will fall down to the ground. And from here, folks, because I've already taken out a very high uh, amount of their numbers from the first uh, section of uh, this uh, kill method, that's it. It's a nice, easy job for the last part. And yeah, there's one left there, but there we go, folks. If you're feeling brave, that's another very nice way to take out this horde. Right, and folks, on to easy kill location number three. Now, this takes place at night, and I'm looking to attract the horde from their feeding area. Because, basically, the area that I'm going to take them to is close-ish to where they are currently feeding. But it's a good job that you do have a bit of time on your hands because this is the hardest part of this uh, method, folks. It's the setup. You have to have your line for getting onto this rock like that. If you try it from any other point, you're going to struggle. So the good news is that the horde are far enough away that you can really just take your time to practice it to get it right. Once you have got the bike up there, I'm just basically showing that you can actually get back up to the bike by standing in that specific point. So, now that I have the bike in place, that's it. I'm heading off on foot and I'm looking to attract the attention of this horde to get them over to that area. And trust me when I say, folks, it's not an easy job to get them all over there. In fact, you will find you will get a fraction of their numbers. But I like to get to basically this section of the road here and uh, you can basically go to town on them quite safely and take out quite a few of their numbers before they even get anywhere near you. And what a lovely sight when you see them running down the road like that. It's, uh, they just line up so nicely for you. So I'm trying my damnedest to just get headshots. Um, yeah, now they're starting to get uh, a bit on the close side. So at this point, I'm looking to just move on a bit. You will actually see that they are not the most... Um, <laughs> obliging of hordes in terms of getting the whole of their numbers over because all of the hordes seem to have this thing where when you get so far away from them that they just sort of give up and this horde is no different so I have taken out some of them that are there but as you can see the rest of them they're already heading back they clearly have more on their mind than myself so um this method, although it is very safe, it is also uh, very lengthy in the amount of time that it takes to actually complete it. Um, you could speed up this process by basically um, taking out uh, the freakers that are basically below you on the rock area and then just go down on foot and then just start to take them out that way. That is a very good option. Uh, I'm just basically staying on the rock for the majority of this uh, method just to basically show that it is a very nice and easy way to take them out. For people who really don't want to have that much to do with them and just have the comfort of being in one spot where you can take your time and pick them off, then this is the way to do it, folks. Again, as much as a good uh, kill area as this is, I can't see anybody ever wanting to use this not after seeing some of the other easy kill locations and rest assured folks after seeing the next easy kill location that I'm going to show I'll just about guarantee you'll never use this method <laughs> because the next kill location is a far quicker affair and it is a lot easier to set up as well so but I just like this one I just wanted to show it, it is just a nice easy casual way of basically taking out this horde so there's not many of them left now so that's it i'm coming off the rock area and i'm just basically going head hunting so this shouldn't take very long folks i can't imagine there being more than five to ten freakers left to take care of and given that i'm not actually seeing any of them at the feeding area good chances are they've actually moved down to their water area where they go to drink and there we go, folks. That's exactly what's happened. In fact, I'm just getting off the bloody bike, so I'm just going to uh, take care of this lot nice and quick now. SMP9 at the ready. And this lot shouldn't take too long. Yeah, given how far they are away, I've got the luxury of uh, time there. And that is it, folks. Yep, not a quick method, but... Yep, a very effective one, all the same. But 
on to the next easy kill location. And this is far quicker, folks. Right, and folks, on to the easy kill location number four. This takes place at night, and I am looking to ideally get them from their night feeding area. You can also do this from their watering area, but it is slightly more problematic as the rock that I'm looking to get the bike onto is right beside their watering area. So it can be done, folks. In fact, if you're taking them from the watering area, just make sure to lure them away from the rock that I'm about to show and then just go back to it. But with them being at the feeding ground, it is absolutely perfect. I'm just going on a drive by here, taking out a few of them with some shots, just making sure I've got all the numbers. That's it, they can see exactly where I'm going. So from here, it's just looking to get over to this rock right here. And it's a nice, easy affair to get on top of. Once I'm at the top, I basically want to get armed with a fast firing weapon. I'm using the MG45 here, but an SMP9 will also work very nicely. And just make sure to control the horde as they're trying to do this World War Z thing. So really concentrate on the ones that are at the highest levels. If you do that, you will get no problems whatsoever. If you don't, you might take one or two slaps. You won't come off the rock face, but yeah, they will do a little bit of damage. But as you can see, I've taken care of the horde quite nicely here, and this is just about a job well done. And that is the job well done. And that also just about puts paid to anybody wanting to take out the horde using kill location number three. <laughs> Anyways, folks, before I show the last method, I am going to show you all three fantastic locations where you can basically get your hands on some really good items in the Lost Lake region. So, here they come, folks. Right then, folks, for three fantastic locations to get good resources in the Lost Lake area, this is the first of the three locations. It is basically Sherman's Camp. And in Sherman's Camp, there are two spots very near to each other where you can get a lot of items uh, straight away so we'll get off the bike and i'll show you exactly where they are from here just turn around head up these steps up the second set and just here right here once you go over here not only is there a weapon with ammunition but look at that you have two smoke bombs now it gets a lot better from here folks because the second spot, which isn't very far away, it's basically the very top of the Metolius Bank here. So I'm just using uh, that method in order just to climb up a little bit quicker. And from here, just get to the roof. There is some scrap over there. That is pretty commonplace. As well as that, you have a few items over here, more ammunition, a sniper rifle, but check it out here. Two flashbangs and two attractor bombs. Right, folks, location two is very close to the sawmill horde. Now, from the front of the sawmill section, I'm actually going to mark this on the map exactly where it is, because you may find, unless you've actually been to this location before, it won't be shown on the map. So take a good look at where I've marked it from. And I'm purposefully starting uh, the run to get to this area from an area that people know very well so basically i'm looking to run along the side of the sawmill and basically after this next set of trees here i'm looking to turn to my left just head on up here and i'm not too far away at all now you will eventually reach this very picturesque uh, part of days gone and if you head over up into this section this is where you get all the goodies Starting off with a fire axe, a fantastic melee weapon to get a hold of. But as well as this, this is the main hall. You have one med kit, one attractor bomb, one frag grenade and one proximity mine. As well as this, there is more ammunition should you need it. Right folks, the third location is basically located just to the west of the sawmill. And... I'm just going to mark it on the map right there because it is that very building. So from the sawmill, just right over there, and that is where you are looking at. It's this house here, and basically you're just looking at the one window up there that is not boarded up. That's how you get into the house, 
And once you're in, there is a lot of very nice items. Starting off, first of all, with a normal attractor. And on the next table here, there is a remote bomb. Very nice to get a hold of, as they are quite hard to come by. Now, there is also a 9mm pistol down here, which most people won't bother with, but here are the goodies. One frag grenade and one proximity mine. And as well as this, folks, there is a great number of items in this house that can be used for crafting. Overall, a very nice haul from these three locations. Right then, folks, as always, after I've shown where you can get your hands on some really good resources, I like to show a stealth option. And this will be the last uh, method I will be showing. Now, this does take place at night and at one very specific spot. It's basically their feeding area. Because, honestly, folks, uh, I generally don't like taking them out at night, but this is the one area where you are guaranteed that they are just basically sitting so well to be taken out with stealth. And basically, once you get to this spot right here, it's just hitting them hard with grenades. I'm going to go with four of these bad boys, and that will take out a good majority of their numbers. And from here it's basically going to be fairly easy work because now I've got their uh, numbers so few that I'm just going to go with an attractor and I'm just taking a look here yet yeah, I'm going to go with a pipe bomb because I think there is 20 or less here I've got the Molotov at the ready in case it ain't and the pipe bomb wasn't enough yeah in fact looking at what I've got left here now I'm not even sure that a grenade would actually have taken out the rest of them if I'd thrown that instead of the pipe bomb. But I'm just going to break cover here because there isn't many left. In fact, there was just the one. And that is the Metolius Lava Cave Horde well and truly taken care of, folks. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. Take care.